Welcome to another edition of News Bites here on Daily World Television. My name is Cal Korf and I'm your host. The country of Japan has asked or is considering, based on the comments from its lawmakers, to launch a first strike against communist North Korea to permanently rid the world, in theory, of the North Korean menace. This is good on paper, but it's not practical in reality. The fact is, communist China is the military guarantor or protector of North Korea. Therefore, China would not hesitate to intervene to defend North Korea. Also, North Korea has nuclear weapons, and approximately one-third of all artillery cannons pointed at South Korea contain chemical or biological warheads. There's no way to stop such an onslaught, even if you had a very advanced missile defense system. It would simply be overwhelmed, and communist North Korea knows this, which is why they equipped one out of three cannons with chemical or biological weapons to begin with. What the United States has said that it may do in response to further provocations from communist North Korea is that it may actually shoot down some of its missiles. That would send a loud message to the communist leadership to show it that it can't continue to get away with what it has been. The reason it continues to fire missiles with impunity is because the UN Security Council isn't doing its job. Let's be honest about it. Now there are concerns that North Korea may have a missile that can reach the continental United States. That's a red herring. Because the United States has the territory of Alaska and Hawaii further to the west in the Pacific Ocean, it is probably Hawaii that North Korea would target first, if anything, in the U.S., because it would be easier for its missiles to reach Hawaii versus, say, California. Also, Hawaii is not as well defended with an anti-missile defense system versus California. In other words, if countries like India, which have nuclear weapons, of course, were to ever, God forbid, get into a war with the United States, India could fire its arsenal and the United States could easily shoot it down. That is true with countries like North Korea, which only have a handful of warheads. But there are areas in the United States' overall territory that are not defended by a anti missile system. Hawaii, ironically, is one of them, and it is ironic considering America's history where uh, you must remember that Hawaii was attacked uh, in a surprise attack by the Japanese, which started America's involvement in World War II. So Hawaii does remain undefended. Alaska is defended because Russia is close to Alaska, but almost no thought has been given to Hawaii. That may now change under the Trump administration, and since the Pentagon will have 54 billion additional dollars to work with, the Pentagon has no more excuses to continue to ignore Hawaii, and of course it can act as a further deterrent uh, against North Korea if they were to place anti-missile uh, defense systems along or around those islands able to intercept anything fired from North Korea towards Hawaii.